here at the DNC National Convention 2024 in Chicago. This is the last day. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris will be speaking. Someone who knows about the importance of foreign policy and everything else is Ambassador Susan Johnson Cook. We call her Ambassador Sujay. Thank you for having <laughs> me. It's a pleasure to be with you again. Thank you for uh, being here. Look, this is an important moment for the Democrat Party. But is it also an important moment for Republicans and all Americans? It's an important moment for all of America because, you know, we've been talking about the soul of a nation. America's soul has been broken and divided. And for once, people are happy and they have hope again. So I think that this is a moment and it's a movement. And we hope that this movement of joy will continue. In your career as an ambassador, what did you encounter in terms of America being viewed by other countries. So I was ambassador for international religious freedom. So I had 199 countries in my portfolio. And you know, people look to America for hope in some instances, and then some look to America because they think that they're not dealing with foreign policy well enough. And so even with this incident that's happening now with war, they're saying America takes sides and people want an America that will not divide but be really united states that can support our world from that capacity of international religion and people coming to America to express their faith, regardless of what that faith is, and some of that being the fabric of our own founding as a nation, what does Kamala Harris have to say to all America and the world about faith, hope, and love, and how do we get there in substantive ways? So number one, you know, she is a woman of faith. And I think that for a person to have faith, that makes a difference because you're not talking about it, you are living it out. And I think she is a ray of hope because she has experienced life as an African-American, as an Asian-American, as one an immigrant daughter, as one who has been discriminated against, sexism, racism. And so she knows what it's like to have hope and to what it feels like when you receive hope. And so I think she's gonna be a model of experience, success, um, enjoy all packaged into one and that is really what the faith experience is about faith is the substance of things we're hoping for and the evidence of things we haven't seen I believe you know the real Kamala has come out we've seen her we saw her on Tuesday night we see that there's a woman who has convictions that are strong and so I believe that's going to be interwoven in all of her speech uh, because it's in her life you know her husband talked openly about his faith and I'm sure she will talk openly about hers and the glory of it is that at the end of it it wasn't just the normal American traditional family they said our family may not look like the average family but we are family and I think that's what America's looking for we don't look like everybody looked 20 30 years ago but we want to be the American family that gets along and finds common ground mm -hmm. finds ways that we can live together whatever our differences whatever our faith whatever our uh, ethnicity that we find common ground to live as one America. So I was on President Bill Clinton's uh, One America Initiative, which was his last initiative before he left office, and it was talking about this very moment, that we are so many different people. We're black, we're brown, we're Asians, we're Latinas, we're different America, and we've got to get used to not our differences, but what unites us. Mm. We're called the United States of America. Ambassador CJ, I want to thank you for joining us, and uh, it's a pleasure to have you on. Uh, finally, what is your hope for America? My hope is, number one, that you keep continuing to do your show about hope, <laughs> but that we actually talk to our faith caregivers and those who are leaders. I'm leading a group of black women faith leaders, and we, are the, we have our hands on the pulse of communities so that we have faith leaders at the table, that we have business leaders at the table, and political leaders, private and public sector, nonprofit and profit sector, working together because that's what America is, wow. that we are a mosaic. Yeah. That's my hope. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's mine.